Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and for the past few days I've been playing a claw-based Flicker Strike um, and Reeve uh, Shadow Assassin, and it was based around basically wanting to use the Rive Claws paired with the Shaper's Touch Gloves, so scaling a bit of dexterity, end up getting up to about 500, so I get 120 life here, about 50% uh, melee fizz here, and in total I'm running two Rives, so we're going for about, uh, I don't know, what is that, 100% 100, 100 or so bleed physical damage over time from either of these. So the idea is to bleed, poison, and flicker strike as well as um, do some reeve action, and it looks something like this. The build is of course flicker strike, and it's not for the faint of heart because uh, it does go all over the place. But I don't know, I've personally learned to accept what flicker strike is and tune out the motion sicknessy that some people complain about. In any case, uh, with the claws you get some pretty decent um, initial hit and a lot of the damage will come from bleed and poison, especially on the heavier targets. You have very fast attack speed, pretty reliable crit, something like 70 crit, 75 crit, and then diamond flask as well. And all in all, it cleared maps fantastically and was very fun to play. Uh, all the way up to about tier 14. I had no problems, and you could probably even build it a bit differently, just I was trying so hard to shove Rive into the build, as well as Shaper's Touch, that it might not have even really been worth it, and ultimately, the question is, are Claws even worth it? The answer to that is no, no they're not. Um, as you can see, DPS is fine up until something like tier 14, 15, and I was pretty happy with it. Uh, it required a bit of, you know additional play here or there to throw a trap or um, kite a bit, but there was no problems with pretty much any of the content. It's just when we hit tier 14 guardians that the fact that claws are so much worse than daggers really started to show. And I'll talk about that in a minute after showing just a few more kills here, where um, yeah, there were no problems. Ideally, I was going to be going into Reeve when Flicker Strike um, tapered off and just wasn't good enough for clear speed or for damage on boss fights, but for the most part, Totem plus Flicker was just fine. This is where we started to have real fucking problems. So anytime I'd go into Reeve mode for this build, I'd have insane bleed, insane poison, and really good single target. Something like 70k Conk Effect Reeve, where most of my damage is then uh, bleed and poison. And this fight is immune to poison, of course, and so is one of the other guardians, and then two other guardians are immune to bleed. So my build is fucked by all four guardians, but some of them, at least, uh, the ones that are poison immune, still get bled, and that should still do enough damage to do something. But when I came across the Hydra here, basically she's poison immune, I was only doing bleed damage, and it was pathetic. Uh, it just wasn't good enough, and at this stage... The claws are somewhat behind daggers by, you know, a hundred crit multi or something, and the rives aren't that special when all things are considered, because they don't really have any additional attack speed, crit, um, they just have about 250p DPS, and it's not really good enough at this stage to be able to skimp on um, damage. So that's something I'm starting to learn, is that you can't particularly half-ass guardian fights with builds, you really do need quite a decent build to do most Guardian fights, and then eventually Shaper. It's uh, really quite the final frontier of content, I would say, and it's kind of just going to build a lot of people out of the game, and a lot of builds out of the game. And I'll show you what I mean about Claws just being lackluster compared to um, Daggers, I suppose. So, I end up dying here like five times or some shit, didn't really get very far, and fairly demoralized. So this is the portion of the video where I start my rant about claws and how they just have fallen so far behind in the current content because they haven't really been up upgraded at all and they're still back in 2012-2013 when all this, you know, weapon specs and everything was made initially. So what we're looking at is something like this build is what my Reeve or Flicker Strike um, character was. If you want to copy it, I'll put it up in the YouTube um, comments. Uh, I don't really recommend it if you want to go for, like, Guardians or uh, Shaper, but everything up until then is perfectly fine. In any case, so what's going on here is essentially the Claw passives just suck balls compared to the Dagger passives. 
It's something everyone already knows at this point, and there's nothing we can really do much about that. Uh, just because nothing's been changed, and what everyone does is steer clear of claws for the most part. The only thing claws really have going for them is most of the unique ones are somewhat unique. You can build around them, they're kind of cool. Uh, there's, you know, fancy different things like bleed damage and bleeding on hit, and these um, scourge claws look fucking badass, for example. And the actual Scourge Claw itself, you could probably build around and make a pretty successful build. But it's not because Claws are good, it's just because um, they're making somewhat interesting uniques. Whereas Rare Claws themselves actually suck and have fallen behind the game completely. So what's happening is, crit builds are completely meta, right? You more or less go for complete crit these days uh, when you make a crit build, and you can hit just about crit cap every time rather easily with all the new shit, ascendancies and all that. And claws themselves have uh, like absolutely nothing in terms of crit, crit multi. They have a bit of crit, but it's a crit multi that really falls short. If you take all the claw passives that you normally would in a tree, uh, for example, that. So this is basically the equivalent of these dagger nodes and these dagger nodes, or at least it's supposed to be. And what we're looking at is 120 crit with claws and 24 crit multi. Now, that's almost nothing. The crit, eh, it's something. And you get a bit of fizz damage, but it basically ends up being balanced out to the dagger nodes as well. Uh, it takes an extra two points to get all that, and you just don't have any multi. So if you take the dagger nodes instead, let's just say for argument's sake, uh, it's supposed to be about two points cheaper in the end. In any case, what we're looking at here is 150 crit with daggers and then 90 crit multi. So right off the bat, you are 65 crit multi behind claws. Uh, behind daggers with claws and on top of that you have a bunch more crit and the implicit is so much more useful on daggers these days the implicit that you're going to use on most daggers is going to be 40 crit um, global crit so already one dagger um, and all these passives puts you up to 190 so you're up by 70 crit and if you do wield like i did in my current build then you're up by 110 crit and all of a sudden you're falling behind with claws by 10 fucking crit when you actually scale your weapon and all that you're about 10 crit behind and 65 crit multi behind which is you know almost face breaker level of damage right there and that's huge and what claws are supposed to be doing is going for their own little niche of leech and uh life gain on hit and whatever and the problem with that is it just doesn't make sense anymore in the current game so Back in, you know, three or four years ago, it was kind of hard to get leech everywhere, if you remember. You know, um, the duelist nodes didn't exist, these leech nodes didn't fucking exist. Leech wasn't readily available in your warlord's mark blasphemy, for example. Uh, it just wasn't that easy to get leech. You couldn't run blood rage very easily. And that's why claw leech kind of made sense back then. It wasn't great, it was still going to be ultimately worse than daggers, but the leech served its purpose and was a bit of a fancy thing. As well as that, damage incoming wasn't as big, so the leech would be um, just nicer for sustain, and so would the life gain on hit. You know, a claw with 30 life gain on hit, uh, dual wielding them, you get like 60. The damage wouldn't come in as rapidly, so that life gain on hit would actually help you sustain and uh, carry on gameplay or whatever. These days, 30 life gain on hit, 60 life gain on hit, even up to 100, let's just say, isn't going to save you from anything. From any of the hard one-shots, from any of the hard guardians or bosses, it's just like a bit of sustain on top of everything. Ultimately, you need leech, so this leech just falls behind because you have less damage than daggers, and you don't need this leech anymore. Um, yeah, and... Claw's niche has been completely taken away because of how easy it is to get leech from, let's say, the Duelist Cluster, from, let's say, your Itziri Flask, your Vinctors, your Warlords, all of that shit. Uh, you just don't need the Claw leech, so ultimately all you have is a weapon with a worse crit implicit and far less crit multi crit uh, from passives. And it's just disappointing, because we all want to love claws, I'm pretty sure, they're badass and all that, but it's just so impractical to use. Uh, if you take my Reeve build and just sub in daggers, like a binos even, uh, over this, you're going to increase your effective 
effectiveness by let's say 30 40 percent something like that by the magnitude of let's say a link so the difference between a five link and a six link that's pretty huge and uh, it's just kind of disappointing for claws in general like i said it's not something um you don't already know everyone knows this claws suck that's why you can buy a 300 dps claw with crit on it for one x and a dagger of the equivalent would cost you six x let's just say but yeah that's that that's the rant uh don't think there's much more to say about that the whole concept of um bleed poison and assassin with uh this shit here that shit there and being dagger or claw or swords even and just flicker striking or reaving works pretty damn well but you get very shut down on guardians i would say even if you're daggers just because um you can't bleed a lot of them you can't poison a lot of them and that's where a lot of your damage comes from and it's also kind of tough in my opinion now to build a crit character on this side of the tree that's life based and that's going to be handling the damage that's coming from guardians with the defenses you have available uh, a spectral throw character I think can do it just because it's basically a ranged ability and very mobile most other skills I feel will be tough uh, if you want this passive tree I'll put it up and I'll show you the gear that the character was wearing just real quickly if you actually want to copy this because like I said it was rather fun up until tier 14 15 if you have no chance not no chance but uh, no intention of going towards shaper or guardian then this can still be a build for you just um, pretty generic gear here. Life resists, life resists strength, life resists. Um, a Dodri's damning because I'm dual cursing with a Witchfire Brew and Blasphemy Assassin's Mark. Life, a resist, some Fizz, some Crit Multi. Life resists, trying to get some Dexterity. And of course, a Belly of the Beast. That's basically the build. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the rant. Maybe you got something else to say that I don't quite know of yet and I'll read the comments below as I do every time don't always reply but I try to get around to them thanks for watching and see you guys next time